And that's the big question that wildlife experts want answered is where did this python even come from? But now that it has been found, it is coming as a huge relief to the people that were living right next to it with no idea. No one knows for sure how many nights a 12-foot Burmese python may have been slithering through the brush of a Port St. Lucie neighborhood. A 12-foot snake? That's kind of a little out there. It's just like a jungle. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be dinner. Pam Zanola was first to notice it was there because the snake was getting ready to feed on a feline right outside her back door. I saw the snake wrapping around the cat and it was just squishing it. Someone's cat, she says, was in the grips of this 120-pound python. Pam says she's lost five of her own cats on Southeast Faith Terrace in the last few months, but didn't know what could have been happening to them until now. The thought about it now just what makes me crazy. Port St. Lucie police officers were able to capture the snake. It's solid muscle. Which falls under our state's list of invasive species. It is an animal that is potentially dangerous. David Hitzig of Bush Wildlife Sanctuary says when these animals grow too large, people who obtain them illegally often just set them free or the snakes break loose on their own. There are people that have these animals in captivity um, and they're flying under the radar and they don't have the proper licensing. Residents of that Port St. Lucie neighborhood are breathing a bit easier now that the threat of a python isn't lurking out there again tonight. And it's still unclear how the snake ended up where it was or who may have owned it previously. Police now say it is with someone who is licensed to care for these kinds of wild animals. Reporting live in Jupiter tonight, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.